and the automakers are making headlines on the first day, press day, of the event. Two brand new vehicles, and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced a very ambitious program for the future, charging electric vehicles wirelessly while they are on the road. Can it be done? Jim Kurtzner is down on the track with all of that for you. Two companies, Toyota and Ford, revealed two new vehicles, kind of like the auto show of old. Introducing the newest Expedition models. Three new full-size SUV Expeditions revealed here. This is a growing market segment as more people move away from cars, including millennials, 25 to 40 years old, and Gen Xers, 41 to 56 years old. The marketing director fits their target customer. We're always keeping the customer at the forefront. Millennials are becoming increasingly important, as you heard today. And you're um, one of those, I think. I am. I'm, I'm on the younger end of millennials, so not quite into that family stage, which is what we're going for. The microchip shortage is still crippling auto production well into next year. We found a new word for it here. It is dynamic. In other words, we don't know. It, it's a dynamic situation, very fluid, so we're, we're working very hard. The new Tundra's development has been a long and deliberate road to create an exceptional truck, and it's truly an American story. The new 2022 Toyota full-size pickup revealed here for the world to see is designed and built here in the U.S., and it's driving right at the Detroit Big Three. We have a lot of respect for those other offerings. They're, they're fantastic and they make us better as a result of that. We believe we've got a great group of loyal customers that we're gonna continue to attract. We probably get some eyes from some other folks as well and we're gonna do the best we can in the segment. More EVs are coming onto the market, but Michigan lags behind other states with public charging stations. The governor here with a surprising announcement that can deflect some of the criticism. The first wireless charging on a public road in the country. And later, who and how will that be done? Well, it's about seeing a problem and working to solve it and being the first to do it. Governor on a quick tour of the Motorbella site, she says she wants to harness the talent and infrastructure that exists with the Michigan auto industry to make wireless charging a reality. And when? When it will all be rolled out. I mean, that's the hard work that, that lies ahead. North American car, truck, and utility vehicle semifinalists were announced here. 50 automotive journalists from the U.S. and Canada vote on these. We put the list on our website, WXYZ.com. The finalists will be announced at the Los Angeles Auto Show in November. And the winners here in Detroit in January. EVs are growing. In my opinion, I think maybe the supply will be ahead of the public demand, but then the OEMs will have to balance that and not over supply them in lieu of not being able to sell them. So the cool things here are of course all the new cars as well as the new technology still evolving for everyone. Carolyn, Jim, thank you so much. We like seeing cool things around here. That's for